It's a heads up tonight for millions of Americans with their heads down, from teenagers in junior high to traders on Wall Street. Think about your body position for a second. You're hunched forward in a flexed position. It puts extra pressure on the discs and the neck. And when you're hunched over at a 60 degree angle looking at a mobile device. Pressure on discs, pressure on nerves, and a lot of that pain is called texting. Take a look closely at these shocking x-rays. Look right here. Kids as young as seven years old developing spinal problems from bending over their smartphones for several hours a day. It's a condition that doctors are now calling text neck. The human head weighs about 10 pounds to 12 pounds. Bending it apparently can raise that to the equivalent of 60 pounds on the weight of your neck. For a seven-year-old, that's like carrying around another seven-year-old on his neck. So text necks can cause muscle strain, pinched nerves, herniated discs, headache, anxiety, depression, and even heart rate and blood pressure are affected. So what can we do to prevent this condition in our kids and ourselves? Here with some important tips, Dr. Kelly Sturrett, a physical therapy and co-founder of Mobility Wad, author of The Supple Leopard, joins us now at Fox & Friends. Okay, Dr. Kelly Sturrett, what are we going to do about text neck, the x-ray? The proof is in it. Well, good morning. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, this isn't new news. Your mom has been saying sit up since, uh, since you were a little kid. The idea, though, is that we don't have a basic set of software to run this mechanical hardware. People are doing this, have been in these positions for a long time. The problem is now this x-ray has literally given us Superman vision, and people are freaking out a little bit. Well, so, you know, I can't, can't get this visual out of my head that you put forward in some research. Is that the equivalent of a 7-year-old hanging from a 7-year-old's neck? That's the weight that's on their neck. Obviously, when we see this, every angle that you're looking down creates more weight added to the neck. So what do we do to correct this? You say use the three-hand rule. What does that mean? That's right. If you took uh, your belt buckle and the bottom of your rib cage and one more at your hand, and if you were standing up, your head is in a pretty good position here, and that sets a relationship between the these three big body parts and your spinal position. If you sit down and try to maintain that integrity, then all of a sudden you're in a good position. Then when you hold your phone, if you think, imagining, not trying to violate those relationships, uh, you know, a lot of this problem goes away. Look, technology is not going away for our children. You know, the Kaiser found Family Foundation said that kids are spending between 8 and 18 are spending about uh, seven and a half hours a day. We're not going to get technology out. What we have to do is remind our kids that, hey, if you're in this position where the hands are coming together on any one of these landmarks, then what we need to do is remind our kids to get back up. All you have to do is put the phone here, put a pillow in your lap, and you can start to solve some of these problems. It feels a little bit dorky at first, but when you're not hunched over and bent like a okay. broken rainbow, you'll thank yourself. So I'm thinking, apply that retro message to the kids about posture with the phone. What do you do if the kid doesn't do it? Take the phone away? Well, you know, I have two daughters, and we're not uh, tech agnostic at our house. What we've done is we've said, hey, look, you know, we've taught you guys how to sleep and how to brush your teeth and how to dress yourselves. This is how you inoculate your body against the ill effects of working with the modern world. And when our kids find themselves in a bad position, we just kindly remind them, hey, that's not what our family does. And the second violation, tech goes away for the day. The third time the kid gets the, the, the phone back, boy, they are in immaculate positions. Okay, so you say three-hand rule, text correct when they're doing, bring the, I'll use my iPad as an example, up here. Does that get your approval, Dr. Kelly Strett? That's, that's exactly right. If okay, you imagine good. just rolling your shoulders back and bringing it to your face, you're set. All right, so I was a little off indeed. I'll work on this so I don't get text neck. That x-ray scared the daylights out of me. Dr. Kelly Surratt, thank you for your tips today to keep our kids safe and us as